Hey guys, Moonyb123 here with you today. In this video today, so what I'm going to do is show you how to flash a custom recovery to your Samsung Galaxy Note 2. And specifically, I'm going to show you how to flash um, Team Win Recovery Project. Um, this, there's, there's two main reco uh, custom recoveries. There's Clockwork Mod, and then there's Team Win Recovery. And I'm going to show you how to flash TWRP because really it's, it's probably the better of the two. And so I'm going to show you how to actually flash that to your Galaxy Note today. Um, I show how to do that in lots of my other videos, but I just wanted to make a standalone video that shows you just how to flash uh, TWRP to your phone. Um, so whether you're flashing new ROM to it or flashing a radio or just needing to install some, some zip where you're installing apps or, or things like that, um, where this will be a standalone where you can just see how just to flash TWRP. Okay, so over here on my computer, I'm going to show you the two things that we need to download. And um, so I'm going to be using Odin to flash this today. And I know that there's apps or there's an app where you, that you can use to flash um, a custom recovery to your phone. But for most of those, you have to be rooted. So that's another step you have to take. So when you use Odin, it doesn't matter if you're rooted or not. So that's the reason I'm doing it this way is it doesn't matter if you're rooted or not or whatever. This, this method works. So I'll have a link in the description to these two, um, to these two uh, web pages here. So one is to this XTA thread, and you want to download this Odin version 3.07. Click on the word here, and it'll download this for you, Odin 3.07, and it's going to be a .zip. The other thing you need to download is the actual custom recovery, the TWRP. So I'll have a link to this, and you want to scroll down to the bottom down here. Now... I'm making as I'm making this video, the newest one is TWRP 2.7.0.1. So they update this periodically. So you you may be watching this a month or two months down the road, and they may have a newer version. Um, so that's uh, just I would basically just pick the newest one, and you want to pick the newest one that ends in dot tar. So today, the one I'm using is 2.7.0.1, the one that ends in dot .tar. So uh, that's, that's the one that we're going to be using. You need to download that file as well. Okay, so you have those two files downloaded to your computer. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, this zipped file and I'm going to throw it out here on my desktop. Okay, so I have this Odin 307 on my desktop. Now it's zipped, and inside of this zipped folder, it has um, the, the folder Odin 307. So go ahead and take that out of the zipped folder and throw that out on your desktop. Okay, that way we've unzipped it now, and we'll have um, access, the, the executable file will have access to these other files that it needs. So open the zipped file, take the folder that's inside of there, and throw that out on your desktop. And the other thing we need is this, this uh, recovery that we just downloaded. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to throw this out on my desktop and uh, just have it there. really doesn't matter. You don't have to have it on your desktop. I'm just doing it that way just so I can find things uh, very easily here. Okay, so I've got these two things on my, on my computer now, the Odin flashing program and the custom recovery. So I'm going to go ahead and open Odin, the file, and then I'm going to click on the odin307.exe. And that's going to open the file, and I'm going to click yes there. Okay, now with, the, with Odin open, over on my phone is what I want to do is I want to power it completely off. So you can go through the menu options if you want to. Um, I usually just pull the battery. I don't have to wait, wait for it to do all that. So pull the battery. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're about to um, boot our phones back up into uh, into download mode. Okay, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to push three buttons together. We're going to push the volume down, home, and power. So, so what you want to do is push the volume down and home first while holding those two, push the power. And hold all three of those down, and it's going to bring you into this menu. Let off all three of those at the same time. So it's going to bring us into this menu, and I'm going to push volume up to continue. And it brings me into my download mode. 
This is what I want. Okay, now with my phone in download mode and the Odin program already open on my computer, I'm going to plug in my USB cable. Make sure this USB cable is, is a good cable that you can rely on that doesn't have connection problems. Okay, so my, my, my phone is hooked up now. And if you'll notice over here on my computer, it sh this wasn't showing up before. Whenever I plugged my phone in, it shows now that it's reading my phone on this port. Okay? That has to show up. If that doesn't show up, that means that the program is not recognizing that your phone is connected. And usually the problem is if, if that doesn't light up, doesn't show up, is you don't have the correct drivers. The easiest way to get the correct drivers is to download the Samsung Keys program. That's Samsung Keys, K-I-E-S. Download that program to your computer, install it on your computer, and then it'll put the drivers on there that you need to, to make this connect. Now, I will say this, once you get the keys program installed on your computer, make sure it's not running before you open up this Odin and try to connect it because it can cause conflict. So um, so if, if you're having problems with getting this to connect, what I'm going to recommend is download Samsung keys and install that. Okay. So with this reading my phone on a port, I'm going to go over here to the PDA button. And on that PDA button, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to find that open recovery, the TWRP 2.7.0.1, the one that ends in .tar. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to open it, and it's going to be open right here in the PDA slot. Okay. Now, by default, repartition is not checked, but just make sure that repartition is not checked. You do not want this one checked, so make sure that one is unchecked. Okay, so you can see down here, it's, it tells me that it's added my phone, it's reading it. I've got this open recovery in the PDA slot, and I'm ready to push start, and it's going to flash it to my phone, and it's going to take just a few seconds. Setting up connection, initializing, it's flashing the recovery.img. Reset OK. It's removed it from the program. And now you can see here on my phone that now it's rebooting. It's not in that download mode anymore. It flashed the recovery to it, and then now it's rebooting. And so you've, you've got TWRP on your phone now. Okay. So once we get to that point, I can unplug the USB. And um, again, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely power off. So I'm just going to pull the battery. And I'm going to show you now how to boot back into TWRP, into your custom recovery. Um, there's For different phones, there's different ways to do it. So the way you do it on a, on a Note 2, uh, AT&T version, is you push volume up, home, and power. So before we push volume down, home, and power. But for this, you push volume up, home, then push the power. Hold all three of those, volume up, home, and power. Continue holding it, and it'll bring us into team win in just a second. So there you go. We're booting up into our custom recovery. All right. So we're in our team win recovery project. Now, if you would have done that before you flashed this TWRP to it, you would have booted into the stock recovery. And the problem with the stock recovery is it, it's pretty limited because the things that the stock, stock recovery will flash has to be signed by Samsung and AT&T. And, um, so it, it's very limited in what it can do. When you put this custom recovery on here, it'll let you install anything that, that you know that's made for your phone that's going to work. So in here, there's lots of things that you can do. But um, if you don't know what you're doing, I wouldn't suggest just going in here and just playing around. It's probably not the best idea. Um, but I'm just showing you how to do this in case you found some XDA thread that says install TWRP and they don't give you instructions on it. I'm showing you how to do that. So from here, you can do stuff like over here, um, install. And I made a video about this recently about how to unlock it. And in that, I showed how to flash a new modem, how to flash a new radio to your phone. And so I can go in here and install that. Um, so you can go to wipe. You can do a factory reset here. You can do backup, backup, backup the everything in your phone. 
um, so that you can have a, a copy of that. It'll back up everything, including apps and, and saved um, app data, all that kind of stuff. You, from here, you can restore backups that you did and then um, just, just some different options, some different things to do in here. But that's how you flash TWRP. You can see, really, it's not that difficult. And once you get this, it definitely unlocks um, some options for you to be able to do some different stuff with your phone. Thanks for watching today. Hope this helps.